It's been a while. I know I shouldn't have kept you waiting. But I'm here now. Hey everyone, I'm back. I saw that my last video was uploaded almost a year ago. And I have not streamed or made a video since. I did have an idea for a video a while back, but I never edited it. Until now. I finally figured out what proxy media is and how to use it, so that made editing like 10 times easier. Also a warning, my hair looks like this. So, just be prepared for that. Kind of weird, almost mullet that I had at the moment. It had been about 10 months or so since I'd had a real haircut, so that's the excuse that I'm using. It was definitely not doing any favors for my forward head posture. I actually, when editing this video, was constantly reminded to sit up straight just by looking at myself. So here's your reminder to correct your posture. But yeah, here's the video. So we went to the grocery store, of course. This was actually one of the first times I'd been back to a grocery store since the pandemic. My parents went for all of us because they were old enough to go to the senior hours, so thanks, Mom and Dad. Uh, but we went at night, clearly, so there weren't that many people in there at that time. So we started out by washing our hands, obviously. That's the first step when you're in the kitchen. Then we got started on the sticky toffee pudding because it didn't have to be served hot. And we would need the oven later for things that did have to be served hot. <coughs> then my mom got upset that I put all the salt that the recipe called for, but it turned out well anyways. Then we attempted to line the springform pan. While I was stirring, I realized that most of what we were doing was not on camera, but apparently I didn't care enough to fix it. Does it look very appetizing? Does it? And here's me putting it in the oven. <laughs> and that was the first thing finished. First Wait, yeah. thing done. So then we started on the soup, which took the longest, but I think tasted the best. It was a pear potato soup, and I liked it more than I thought that I would. We started by peeling the potatoes, and my mom had this fancy potato peeling thing. But I cut myself. And then I cut up the onion while my mom opened the garlic, which we were both overpowered by. She started on the carrots, prompting Rudy to make a special appearance. Hi, Rudy. Then I finally moved the camera so you can see what's going on. And then I immediately moved it back because you just had to see me stirring the sauteing carrots and onions. And then I finally talked to the camera. Take it away, William. Didn't explain what we were doing yet, but we just watched all of Downton Abbey. We finished like two weeks ago, maybe. But then I remembered I have the movie for Downton Abbey and we're kind of stuck inside for the time being. And so I have movie posters from when I worked at a movie theater and we were gonna watch the movie. But we decided to be fancy and make like a Mount Nabby dinner for a movie premiere too. So right now we're making a toffee pudding as for dessert. We're making the pear potato soup. And we have uh, sausage pinwheels. Here's our picture. And then a Yorkshire pudding as a side, and then marinated kale salad for the salad. And then that's it. Hopefully we'll 
dress a little fancy for the movie. At that point, the pudding was ready to come out of the oven. And then we continued with the soup while my mom went and got a bigger pot, which we transferred the soup to. And then we got some more stuff to put in the soup before setting up a camera for Rudy. And then my sister wanted to be an influencer for a moment. <laughs> then I went and got one of my posters so that we could get in the mood. I don't know. It was definitely not convenient to attach it to three separate doors, but whatever. Then we started on the marinated kale salad by washing the leaves and then letting them marinate in olive oil for an hour. Then we got the dressing ready and started on the next thing, which was the sausage pinwheels. We put onion, sage, and parmesan in there, and my mom squished it all up. Then we rolled out the pastry and put a bit on each before rolling them up and cutting them and giving them a bit of an egg wash. Then they went in the oven while we blended up the soup. We had to do half at a time because the blender wasn't big enough, I guess, for all of it. So I've inserted some soothing Rudy footage to cleanse your palate. And then I did the other half with more Rudy footage. You're welcome. And then we heated up the soup again as I started on the Yorkshire puddings. Then I did the sauce for the pudding, the dessert one, not the Yorkshire one. And then my mom did this. <laughs> and then we all got dressed up for dinner. very tired from all the work he put in. Thank y'all for joining me and my mom in the kitchen. We had a fun time making stuff, eating the stuff that we made, and watching the movie. All together was a nice night. If you're up to it, I'm sure you can find a dinner party for any movie night you want. Just out of the blue, make sure your family's all going to be home, or your friends are all going to be home, your roommates are all going to be home, and you just have your little themed dinner party while you watch the movie. You know, it could be, it could be Cheetah Girls 2, and you all wear cheetah print, and you have Spanish food. You could do Ratatouille. You have a dish right in the name of the movie. You could dress up like rats, I don't know. Maybe you have a rat, and you can put them in a little chef hat. Give them a little serving of ratatouille. You could do, like, Jurassic Park. Have, like, dinosaur chicken nuggets and uh, scrambled dinosaur eggs, I don't know. Come up with a movie and have fun with it. Make sure you get help in the kitchen if the stuff that you're making is hard to make. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all doing well, hanging in there. 
staying healthy, uh, getting vaccinated, wearing your masks. I think that's all for now. I can't promise I'll make any more videos, but I guess we'll see. And yeah, love you guys. Bye.